After setting off your burning hands, Don, the zombie between you and Joe goes to attack you. The heat from your blast had melted away part of its body because it tried to swing at you with hands that no longer exist and miss you completely. George, it's your turn. I'm going to slash at the one Don had just blasted to try and finish it off with Talon. That's an 18 to hit for 11 slashing damage. That's just enough to kill it. Want to tell me how you do it? I slash Talon across this zombie's charred chest, cutting what little remains from the body and it just falls apart onto the ground in a writhing, groaning mess as the magic controlling the body just dissipates. Awesome, that happens. The last zombie goes to slam into you, George, but it goes just about how you'd expect. It brunts up against your plate armor doing no damage whatsoever. Barack, it's your turn. One zombie remains and he's kind of pathetic. I almost feel bad attacking him. I'm gonna move out into the main chamber now that it's safer bonus action to change Hex to the zombie and blast him. That's a crit, baby. I got 10 force damage and 7 necrotic from Hex after rolling twice for damage for a total of 17 damage. Not enough to take it out, since this zombie was pretty fresh, but it definitely isn't fresh anymore after a hit like that. Droop, it's your turn. How about you finish off this fight? Fuck yeah, I want to run out into the open like everyone else and get a good shot on this zomboy. Ouch, I rolled a 12 for 11 piercing damage. Does that even hit? It does actually, only 8 AC on these guys. Want to tell me how you finish them off? Hell yeah, I just act all cool, like walking out into the open and say, looks like we got them alls. Then notice that there is one left by George and go, oh shits, missed ones, and shoot an arrow that goes right through his eye hole and he falls to the ground. With that, combat is over. This cavern is a mess now. The machinery that once pumped the bellows is all but destroyed. All the remains is the water wheel leaning up against the dried channel. The room smells like dead burned flesh and an eerie silence echoes throughout the cavern as you all claim a small victory and get one step closer to uncovering the forge of spells. 